and is sort of thrashing around trying to find you, but but can't find you. So it's both blinded and in a lot of pain. Uh, Ruzad, you hear it. You hear it going. Fuck! Fuck my nuts! My fucking nuts! The thing about the library is it has a massive marble building in uh, in the, in the central square of Karaki, at the end. Uh, basically on the border between Gold District and the Summer District. And the entrance is in the Summer District, but I think, fingers crossed, no one will notice as you cross over into the district you're banned from, Grounded. Um, but yes, uh, you, you know, you enter in. It's, it's a nice, cool building, <clears throat> you know, from, from the sun outside, which is getting a bit hot now. It's coming up to May uh, equivalent in the, in, in the local sort of local season. And you head on inside. And it's chaos in there. There is paper all over the place. There are people who look a bit like priests. They're wearing white robes and they're carrying books left, right and center. And people are sort of ducking down a small flight of stairs at the back um, as quickly as they can and bringing books up. Um, and they're, they're, they're all hurriedly talking to each other, and one of them spots you coming and says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, library is closed. Li library is closed right now. Do come back later. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we actually have a f more official business here. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, even, even if you, even if you, uh, even if you were on the High Council, we can't, we can't let you in. Can't let you in. There's a bit of a situation we're going through at the moment. It's nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Of course, everything's fine. But uh, yes, very much closed. What? What kind of situation? Uh, we we can't, we can't really say. Can't really say. Not allowed to uh, talk about it. Um, keepers of secrets and all that. But... Look, look. I'm I'm be honest with you. We're we're here to help out with whatever's going on. People up there are worried. Oh. They've noticed something's wrong. People are worried. We need to know what's going on. Well, if you're here to help, how good are you with swords? Fairly good. Excellent. We'll need I'll, that. I'll just, uh, I'll just slowly. I like my swords on my stick. body. And the and and, and <laughs> not... the speaker comes up to you and grabs your arm and starts sort of hurriedly taking you towards the staircase. Um, and another another person whoa, 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 whoa. another person runs up the stairs holding a huge bundle of books. And uh, there are there is a deep scratch along their cheek that is bleeding heavily, and they're running up and they're like, uh, um, uh, "Cleric, cleric, cleric, deal with that one, please. Deal with that one. Look, uh, we're not going to send anyone else down. Off you go and pushes you down the stairs, and you all you all fall. Uh, well, not fall. You sort of stumble down the stairs, and the other three, I presume, following behind. And there is a slam as the door shuts behind you and you you emerge in a reasonably dim not dark though you can all see no one needs dark vision to see in here there's a faint purple glow a marble corridor that is about 60 feet long and it's quite wide it's quite uh, airy still there are several books out on lecterns and there's cases of books in recessed alcoves and the floor is uh, made of marble, and so are the walls, and so are the vaulted ceilings above you, which are 20 feet high. And there's two statues of owls, uh, each on a pedestal, facing uh, facing the, the four of you. And uh, one of the owl's eyes glows a white color, and you hear a voice in your heads that says, touch no books unless bidden by the curator. And then the eyes disappear again uh, and, and go black and yeah you're now you're now in the library i will audibly Absolutely. by the power of thunderage and summon a spear i mean glaive <laughs> you're summoning you're summoning your glaive by the power of dunwich <laughs> i look at the owl statues and salute <laughs> don't <laughs> don't, invoke, don't invoke my name don't invoke my name when you do that it's funny. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> we live only to serve Lady Dunwich. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted me to respect you more. Not well, what I, mean, I meant. At, at least this Dunwich isn't a horror. So in, in this room, there are two recessed bookcases. 
where you are. Uh, then there's two lecterns with open books on it. Two owl statues pass there. A further lectern with another open uh, book on it. A door opposite that. Um, heavy wooden door. Uh, where from there's a red light coming from under the door uh, in the crack under it. And then from beyond that, there's a, a small alcove at the end which has a curved bookcase in it that holds yet more books. So are we going to do this the easy way and not touch any books? I mean, that would be preferable. Yeah, I did tell us to, not to. Yeah, don't oh, touch the books. Don't, don't, books. don't touch the books. Don't touch the books. Don't touch the books. Don't. Anyway, I'm going to check in that room. I thought you were about to say, I'm going to touch a book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you head over and yeah, so there's this, there's this door and it's uh, it's what it's yeah it's quite heavy it's quite thick and underneath the door there's that uh, there's a little crack between the floor and the door itself and red light is now spewing from it quite quite brightly it sort of uh, comes and goes ebbs and flows the brightness of the light and from inside as you approach the door uh, you can hear the sound of pain like someone is in pain inside uh, and they're sort of struggling against the pain they're going. Ugh! Either that or they're having a big shit, one or the other. And um, somewhat someone in there is probably in pain, either way. I'm going to investigate the room. Okay, so you you open the door, and what you see inside is... Well, the first thing you see, actually, is a makeshift barricade um, with sort of sticks of, of wood sort of facing the door like spikes. And then from behind there, what immediately catches your eye is a blood red portal. And it is on the far end of the room between two columns of marble which are adorned in chains. And in one of those sets of chains is an elven man who is in extreme pain. In front of that are two minotaurs and they are moving boxes around uh, and putting things down. There is a rack of weapons to one side and the, the elf it is again is the one, it's the source of the noise that you'd heard and they haven't spotted you yet but the moment they turn around they will so what i will do is let you all decide how you are approaching this but you have six seconds yeah i'm just closing the door and walking away okay you close the door you walk away uh, the- thankfully the portal is making quite a bit of noise so they wouldn't have heard that uh just a minute again probably shouldn't go that way is that, that someone screaming isn't that the way to go? You can't see any other doors? doors, but who knows? It's the library. All you really know about the library is it doesn't make much sense. Now, currently, we have no alternatives available to us if we wish to proceed in finding out what is going on in this fine establishment. Uh, Unless fine. we want to touch the books, which we won't. <laughs> so, what did you see? What did you see of your orcish eyes? <laughs> Big red portal. A screaming elf and two minotaurs. How do we want... Do we want to do this diplomatically? I want to do this diplomatically, but you saw more than I did, so... I mean, the elf is chained to a column and in pain, so I don't know how uh, accommodating these minotaurs are. I mean, if you can't... And while I do love the heat of battle, even I'm not stupid enough to take on two at once. Maybe if you want to do it diplomatically, I will bow to you. You are the boss. What about what about you two? What are your opinions on this? Is there anything else in the room? Sideways, you have much brave. I didn't get much of a look. There's maybe some weapon racks, but otherwise, didn't get much of a look. Maybe we could get them through the portal somehow. You know, get them, make them go through the portal, close it behind them. Was this anything like the portal to the library we've seen before? Like, could you see anything through it? All I could see was red. Wait, was there creepy tra- chanting coming from it at all? Not that I heard. I'm looking for knowledge in every portal now. <laughs> <laughs> every portal is knowledge. Every issue is knowledge. Somehow, knowledge. Speaking of grounded, when we next have time off, do you want to go and check uh, the null hole? Oh, does anyone speak it, abyssal? Okay. Uh, no. I speak null, which is technically sort of a type of abyssal, I think. That's a no, then. Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. You can hear some grunting. Do well, I know some I grunting sounds? Else. Okay. Can I determine that this grunting seems like language? Yeah, it seems like language. It's just not a language. Slot. You can... Um, oh, okay. You're casting... Dece- uh, under- comprehend languages, even. So you you now immediately understand the words they're saying. 
And one of the Minotaurs is telling the other, get those boxes in, get those boxes in. We've probably only got one, maybe two more journeys before the elf dies. And the other one says, look, I'm trying, I'm trying, all right? These are heavy. These are heavy. It's full of silver and steel and all sorts of things. Why do we even need silver over here? Like what? It's to pay us. They could just pay us when we get back. The other one says, I don't know. It's not my job. Ask the tyrant. And the other one says, no, nah, you go ask him. I ain't going near it. Or it's pet. What do you orcish ears hear? Bringing things over. Sounds like they might be the issue. I mean, if they're the issue, then we do have, at the very least, the element of surprise. Ambush? Ambush. Yeah, and a bacon tree. And you have my bacon tree. Well, you can, of course, always ready actions to go off at once if you want. I mean, we... Okay, we I'm even though it's probably not going to work, I am going to try something. Okay. I'm going to burn another slot for Disguise Self. Okay. Disguise myself as her Belfry and okay. use the Act of Fate to imitate her voice to ask what are they, the hell are they doing in my library? Interesting choice. So you are impersonating her Belfry, who yes. is a cleric of Morian. No. Her belfry is not a cleric of Marian. She's not a cleric of Proteritus. No, no, th also that might be not a cleric. Well, archbishop or something. I can't quite remember the exact <laughs> mapping, but I'm pretty sure it was archbishop equivalent. But it was Marian. Uh, it? yeah, no, the Quarrelers. Oh, the Quarrelers, of course. Yes, no, yeah, of course. Him, her, uh, yeah. No, no. It's like I planned this, but it was like two and a half years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, yeah, Almost. absolutely. Sorry, Quarrelers. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I like this. So, I, I'm not going to do it straight away. I'm going to let them do their plan, but this is me going in. So, I mean, it, okay. our, our current plan is ambush, so like... <laughs> I was going to say, you might not get very far once the arrows start flying. I okay, mean, you so could try they're it, coming in behind me and I'm trying to be diplomatic first, and that, if that fails, it's just an outright battle. Except okay. I, except when I, I'm not coming in behind you, I'm like hiding like on the other end of the door. And the moment something uh, yeah. goes wrong, I'm going to rush in. Yeah, and no, that's what I mean by coming in behind. Okay, I'll attempt this. Okay. See how well this goes. You pile open the door. The the, the minotaurs turn to looking and go, it's one of them librarians. Get him. And they run towards you. What would you like to do while they run towards you? They, they've not, they're not, we're not in initiative yet, but they're running towards you. You may be able to stop this with some good acting is what I mean. Okay. At the top of my voice in her Belfry's mm -hmm. voice. I'm going to scream stop. They they stop. They stop. Uh, you're not like them librarians. What are you doing in my... No, because this is my library. They work for me. What are you doing here? No, this is our library. This is the tyrant's library. We've taken not it. Not bloody likely. You, you really want to take on the owner of this library? The owner of this library is already here. They know we're here. They haven't done shit about it. You see me standing here? Who are you again? The Belfry. Interesting. I don't know now, uh, Belfry, but you don't look like the owner of this library. Yeah, is this that is because... Is this happening in uh, Common, or...? This will be happening in Abyssal, so you're just hearing grunting from the two of them. Okay. Don't worry, I'll have figured out some way to let you know if shit's going wrong. Which is, shit goes wrong. <laughs> it's when you get gored look, by a minute. Just because your master thinks he owns this place doesn't mean he's right. We'll see about that, won't we? And he scuffs his hooves against the ground, lowers his horns, and he's going to run at you. Did anyone have prepared actions? For he sure, this go prepared, didn't he? And Rosa, I, I, I wouldn't have declared the Eldritch, Eldritch blast, blast. Yeah. yeah. I did mention that if something starts to go wrong, I'd sprint in and attack something. Although I'm not sure I can move with a prepared action. Uh, not usually, no. Um, but I'll allow it in this case. We're not in initiative. It's it's fine. Um, and grounded, you're presumably hand crossbow? Yeah, just ready to peek around the door and sneak attack the uh, first target. Sounds great. Okay, so this is the time that you'd probably do it because it's very clearly gone south now. Uh, Ruzad, one last thing. Can I have a religion check from you, please? 22. This is great because as the DM, I can finally disabuse the players of an erroneous notion they've had since they first went into the library. The library is not controlled by the quarrelers, it is controlled by the god of knowledge, Proteritus. And to be fair, <laughs> you implanted 
that no oh i did i did i did that on purpose some minotaurs do actually love the the god of control this however is a cult uh, you're dealing with that are a little bit different much like how you know some humans uh like fontaine for like example his, and they're not all w worshiping marion in karaki there are sects all over the place of various religions but this is a cult that you're dealing with now and they are zealots that's fair enough I, but yeah i, I thought it, it would be I a perfect should, time to give yeah. you the the information as it might become prudent yeah. later here we are so we have in the bottom the portal uh strapped to it is an acolyte who is actually the elf uh, the elf won't be participating in the initiative order as it can't do shit. There is, there are two minotaurs who are both looking directly at Rosad, and the three of you are about to do a surprise, uh, surprise round. So we'll get initiative now. And anyway, we'll... that explains sound. If he can't do shit, he must be really constipated. <laughs> okay. So that's that. uh, no, he's just scared shitless. Oh no. That doesn't so... make it easier. What's there? Okay, yep, sure. Okay, who got higher than a 15? Rosad. I'll just wait for... 22. 22, okay. I assume you haven't beaten that, Leros? No, I am older. not in a 15 range. Okay, no one else above 15? All right, okay, who's above 10? 12. 12, so you are... What's your dexterity modifier? Uh, plus two. Plus two, okay, so you'll go next. Then the Minotaur. Then who is higher than five? Oh no. Okay, grounded. I got an eight. And Ao, what did you get? <laughs> One. Oh no. What's your dexterity model? Five. Technically a three, but technically a three. Okay, Ruzad, you are going first, actually, uh, in this round. So it's a surprise round. So the Minotaurs are both surprised, and yeah, Ruzad, you get to go first. Yeah, knowing Ruzad, this turn he'll cast Thunderwave at his own feet. <laughs> Straight the feet. Okay, okay uh, with these barricades, how solid are they? Pretty hefty, yeah. Uh, we're talking probably weighing about 50 pounds each. Movable, okay, so it but should... not wieldable. But it yeah, so it should give me some light protection against the Minotaurs. Yeah. yeah. Very, very strong. Although slight. they're strong, they might be able to move them out of the way. Yeah, but it would have to be there and then move. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I will actually. Ah, screw it. I'll go with the perfect opening salvo. Going to. Yeah, move over into the corner just a bit more. Okay. And third level distant whispers. Distant whispers, third level. All right. I assume I have to make a save? Yep. That'll be against my whiz. Sorry, yeah, against my wisdom save 14. Okay, and is it wisdom save on their part as well? Yeah, it's a wisdom save on their part. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they make it. 18. Okay, so that rough. is 5 damage to... The one straight in front of you, I assume? Yeah. yeah. Okay, 5 damage. I, I was thinking for a sec, do I, do I change what I was attacking? But no, no. You made the decision. All right, over yeah. then to Leros. You were doing Eldritch Blast, oh, right. I believe. That was the prepared action, yes. Uh, that is... A bit 4 to hit and an 11 to hit. One of those hits. Yeah. Who are you targeting with us? At the gentleman in the front row. Yeah, right next to Bruce. Okay, got you. Roll uh, damage. Okay, so that's six points off. Six points. Very uh, nice. Okay. Uh, it's the Minotaur's uh, goes. And I will... Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Anything else? Yeah. Then I will uh, move here and uh, put a curse on the bugger. Okay, you're cursing the bugger. I'm just going to make a note. See. Cursed. All right. Excellent. And uh, it's their goes, that. and they are, yeah, surprised. So they're doing fuck all this time around. They're just seething with anger. Grounded, over to you. Okay, so um, I'm going to sneak attack the nearest one. Okay, that's the that's the one right in front of Ruzad. Sure. Is that with what? the hand crossbow? Yeah, it was hand crossbow, wasn't yep. it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, is that with the. Do I get advantage because it's surprise or. Uh, you didn't hide beforehand, so they would have seen you pop out. Okay. That is a 21 to hit. That definitely hits. Roll damage. Okay. Unfortunately, no one's within five feet for sneak attack at the moment. Oh, wait, no. Mm, I'm in range. No, yes, yeah. Uh, Leros is in range because Leros has got uh, reach. So yeah, roll sneak attack damage okay, on now Because Leros has a glaive. Okay, so sneak attack damage. 3d6. I'm just looking for the... Uh, I had 
One that, nice. How long? I've got two sticks here. Twelve. That's two fives of rope. How much was that, sir? Uh, uh, Twenty-one damage. Twenty-one. Jesus. All and right. also, can I can I hit the other minotaur with my uh, wells from the green? Uh, yeah, I think so. What's the range on that? Uh, Thirty feet, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's within thirty feet. That means you can do that. Yeah, so that, uh, that arrow goes thunk straight into the chest. It's, well, sorry, the bolt. Were you, you were using a standard bolt, right? Yeah, just no one. Standard bolt, not, not your magical ones. Okay, and so it goes thunk into the chest, and it's just bristling from there, and there's a little trickle of blood coming out of it. And that six damage to the other one. Six damage to the other one as the ghosts run from it and scream at it. All right, uh, over to Ao. Oh, and can I use my bonus action to hide? Uh, isn't Wales from the Grave bonus action? No, it's just a sneak attack. Is it? I'll double check that. Yeah, you double check that. Ao, you do, you do your go while they double check that, and we'll just we can just say you hid if if that was the case. If not, um, no, basically. Okay, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Is there room to to slip, for me to slip through the barricade around right here? It'll be squeezed, so it'll be difficult to rain for you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's space. It's probably about four feet, mm, three feet. Okay. <laughs> Looking at it. No action cost for the whales. No action cost for the whales. Yeah. So uh, roll me a stealth check then. Alrighty. That is... What's my bonus stealth again? Uh, 22. 22. Okay. It's best you can tell you're hidden. Uh, you, know, you know what the hilarious thing about difficult terrain is? I'm mobile. <laughs> yes. You, you ignore it. So you can just go... Woof! You got the, the shimmy skill. And you're, you're straight through. Okay. So can I bonus action disengage before moving? Even if I'm not fighting someone? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can disengage at any point, and it just means you're not going to take attack of opportunity when yeah. you go past someone. You don't have to yeah, be so engaged I'm... as a condition of it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to uh, disengage and make my way first about right here, and then I'm going to use my action to dash to make it all the way through here. Ooh, where have you gone? Oh, right. Right down to the, right down to the elf who's in chains. Okay. Okay. Um, as as you approach, the elf sees you approaching, and do you speak Elvish? Um, I do not, no. Okay, well, it says something. Uh, am I close enough to hear? Uh, yeah, I, I think so, I think so. So what you hear... Who speak Rizal, Elvish? Um, um, you speak everything at the moment. So uh, what you hear is... Uh, no, no, don't come any closer, you're ruining it. Okay, uh, that's AO done, and we go top of the round to Rosat. Okay, as part of free action, I'm actually going to yell out past the uh, minotaur there, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, the, el the elf's going to say, stop, stop, this is my duty, you're ruining it. Um, ah, screw it, just going to wait in. Wait in, all right. And taking a swing. What are you swinging with, with this the lovely one? new warhammer. Oh, with a warhammer, lovely. <laughs> Aiming for their legs. <laughs> Kneecapping, okay. Need to go pop the dude. Yeah, no, that's not going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Fair enough. Uh, anything with your bonus action? I uh, need to double check, but I can actually bonus action. Uh, I will throw a bardic die to Leros. Okay, Leros, you have one bardic oh, inspiration D8. die. Is that a d6 at the moment? D8. D8, very nice. All right, and we're over to you, Leros. There's a bastard right in front of me. Yep. And I in front of him is a minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I'm gonna just shimmy behind. You're gonna shimmy, shimmy behind him, all, all the way around him. Um, yep. If you are approaching he him, the attack of opportunity is when you, re when you exit his reach, so you'll have I'm to stay within... his range. Yeah. His range is five feet. He's large. He's large. His, His reach, reach is still ten. five feet, according to the monster manual stat block I have right in front of me. Okay, fair enough. Um, then I'm not going so that you'll spot. have to w stay within five feet to do that. You would know that, though. You'd be able to see that from from what he's got. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you're, you're able to get I around. I will make up a couple of... Wait, on a section hex. You've already put it on him. No, I've put my curse on him. Oh, I see. Of course. Yes. Okay, bonus action hex. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's too many bonus actions. Yeah, what happens when you hex them? Um, it reduces their ability to 
Oh, uh, right. Let's it reduces one of their uh, saving throws. Disability then. on uh, on strength checks. So it's oh, okay. Now. You're gonna go for because I think that is something they might care about. Yeah, no, that 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 makes sense. So you're gonna reduce um, that minotaur's ability to do to do strength checks. Excellent. And yeah, go. and have at and it. also every time uh, Lyros attacks. There is still an additional one d six necrotic damage. Yep. <laughs> okay, you're you're starting to hear the doom music. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I start to hear the doom music. Yeah. All right. So the first roll is a. Uh, I I can't remember modifiers. It's been a few, few weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Twenty one to hit. Twenty one will hit. Def- definitely. Yeah. Roll all of your oh. damage die dice even. That's plus. Oh, that's the same modifier, isn't it? Yeah, uh, three plus. So that's nine points of uh, slashing. Nine of slashing, okay. And three necrotic. And three reco- ne- free erotic, okay. Uh, yes, free erotic. Okay, very nice. It is now bloodied, so the the glaive goes straight across the chest and open up opens up quite a wound there that is looking a little looking a little infected the moment it cuts through, and I think that's probably the hex you put on it. Um, I remember and... these guys being tanked here. How long have these hmm? guys been down here, did you ask? Sorry? No, I said I think I remember them being tanked here, oh. given last time it... You were low level, them all in of... fairness. And the second attack is 24 to hit. 24 hits. Four total points of slashing, and 60 pro. Oh, okay. I'm just taking the... I'm just taking the hex dice from one pile to that. So you you you've gone like that with the glaive right up the chest because you've got to kind of kind of hold it like that because you're in close range and then you've just cut down the other side doing a big X <laughs> across his chest and yeah he's oof, he's bleeding out he's looking a bit uh, looking a bit ragged it's now his go and uh, he as he is essentially you know is he, the, he he's a bit worried about how this is going so he's going to get the uh, the great axe that he's holding and he is going to attack recklessly and he's going to strike at you Laris, because you've done the most damage to him. Uh, this is fair choice uh, okay so that's 22 to hit that hits okay oh wow they do all that Fair bit of damage, don't they? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, oh, is that one? Yeah. <laughs> does uh, he does seven slashing damage to you? That's still quarter of my health, so nothing to scoff at. Yeah, that was a one and a two on the roll. <laughs> the D12. Uh, okay. Uh, that's his go, actually. That that's his go. We go to the other Minotaur. Um, the other Minotaur runs towards the portal and hurls a bit of paper through and as it hits the portal it flashes white and the the elf goes Argh! as more energy is drained from him but then he runs around and that was his that was his item interaction and he's now going to strike at you ao uh he's not doing it recklessly because he thinks he's got everything un- under control at the moment can't fucking hit for shit though that is a 13 that for the first time does not hit because <laughs> you've Thank got you your stunned lever, lever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, Dazzle. Oh, no! Please make me a constitution. I should have gone with the gore because he could have charged it. You're going to dazzle. Constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, let me roll that. They're pretty good at constitution, as you might expect. <laughs> That's a natural one. Okay. <laughs> dazzle uh, away. Until the, the end of the not turn. a. Until the end of his next turn, blinded, zero movement. <laughs> okay, blinded, zero movement. All right, I'll make a note. <laughs> as 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 he swings at me, Ao picks up a, a pile of dust from on top, from the library because library is always dusty. Yeah, and throws it into his eyes. Pocket sand. All right, straight in the eyes, like ah, Jesus. Okay. Um, with that done, we go to grounded. Grounded. You are up in the doorway. You are hidden, as far okay. as you know. Okay, I'm just going to sneak over to here, around okay. the back of the room. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That'll take 30 feet of movement, because you have to squeeze through the gap in the barricades there. Um, okay. Which uh, acts uh, as difficult to rain. Can I uh, see the uh, portal at all? Much of the portal from here? Uh, yeah, you can see it pretty clearly. Roll me another stealth check, though, because moving under stealth usually triggers a second stealth check. Okay. I'd like to use my inspiration to re-roll that. Yeah, go for it. So 
the record I rolled a three. <laughs> All those people. There, with plus six, that's not terrible, but... Okay, that's much better. Uh, that's uh, 24. Okay, yeah, you, you're feeling pretty good about your, your selfiness. There was a moment, there was a moment where things were getting a bit hairy, but you, you got on top of it. You, you slow down, you breathe deeply, and you just time the movements uh, with all the noises that are happening around you. And your, your background, and you're behind that crate now. And yeah, you've got a good view of the portal. It's red. It is glowing quite brightly at the moment. Can I make an arcana check to see if I can work out what it is? Sure. Roll me arcana, yeah. Because yep. I've still got my placing proficiency in that. Yeah, right yeah. It's a portal. Well, that, that would be the answer <laughs> if you got a low <laughs> a low score, sure. Shame I can't burn inspiration on this. Uh, that is 11. 11. Okay, this is definitely a portal. Now, you you are pretty sure that you'd heard before that the library is full of portals. The unusual one is this appears to be fueled by the life force of that elf. Most of the portals are natural in origin in in this place. Time and space loop around each other all over the place and portals just keep opening and closing everywhere. This is something else. This is something that has been manufactured. Okay, uh, and assuming that Arcana check used my action? Yes, uh, yeah. I'm still hidden, aren't I? Oh yeah, you're still hidden. Yep. Okay, I'll uh, just sort of hunker down behind the crates then. Okay. Uh, with that, we go to Ayo. Ayo, there's a Minotaur right in front of you. I can see him, but he can't see me. <laughs> That's the benefit, yeah. You know what? I'm going to attack this Minotaur. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, because it's blinded, I do get advantage, right? You do. Or is yeah. it? does it only get disadvantage? Uh, no, you get advantage to hit it as well, yeah. Much like as if you're hidden, essentially, because you are hit from it. Okay, that's a 24 to hit. That'll do it. Yeah, roll some damage. So is this the rapier, yeah? Sort of shoving it in his yes. crotch or something in the sight. Um. <laughs> yes, this is in fact I my rapier. It's an oblivion. <laughs> uh, that is 19 damage. 19, okay. That, that hurts. And it, it, the Minotaur unleashes this howl, howling wail. Um... And it is sort of thrashing around trying to find you, but, but can't find you. So it's both blinded and in a lot of pain. Uh, Ruzad, you hear okay. it. You hear it going, fuck, fuck, my nuts, my fucking nuts. <laughs> okay, I'm fun. going to bonus action uh, disengage. Uh, sure. Move over toward, towards around here. I don't believe you have to disengage. Uh, yes. I'll, Doesn't your mobile uh, yes, feet I let start. you move whenever you've hit something? Without. Oh yes, yes it does. Never mind. I still have my bonus action. I always forget about that aspect of mobile. As someone who did a swashbuckle of rogue, I'm never forgetting that feature. Because <laughs> they <laughs> get that for good... free. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to look at. I'm going to from right here, or as I'm back up and say, "What's wrong? I'm right here. Can't you hit me?" While moving to the other side of the elf. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Sure. No. No. I like that. I like that. Over to Rosat. Okay, I now have to recalculate what I was thinking because... It has changed a few right. things, hasn't it? Oh, oh, it has changed a few things. Looks to be that elf. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's already stuck, stuck then. <laughs> it's not yeah. having the greatest day. Well, I don't know. It might not be too bad. It might like it. Uh, screw it, I'll take another swing at its legs. All right, <laughs> kneecaps again. 16. 16. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Uh, that is 11 damage, plus I'll burn a Bardic for Slashing, which is a D8 now. Right, that is an extra 6 damage, so that's 17 all up. Okay, 17. All right. And that is enough. So the Warhammer goes crunch into the kneecaps and it drops to the ground, and I assume you just turn around, follow up straight on the head as his head is now is now at height and it collapses to the ground in a bloody mess. And that is one dead minotaur. Boom. <laughs> okay, Leros. Hey, oh yeah, you've got, uh, you've got your movement and your bonus action and all that. Minotaur writing you one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, they'll do. Okay, everyone's going through the portal. I can't really do... Uh, okay. Leros, you're going. Well, I'm not I'm not trying to be in the portal. I'm trying to be as close to the portal and the elf as I can without being in it. I will anyway. use my bonus action to move my hex from a dead person 
to the other Minotaur. Okay, so the other Minotaur is now hexed. Strength saves again, mm. I assume? Or... I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, that sounds great. Uh, no no advantage now. Be oh, st still blinded, though. So still advantage. Yeah, still blinded. Excellent. So how about 17? Uh, 17 will do it. Yeah, 17 will hit. You rake it up the back that with the with the glaive. Eight slashing eight and slashing. five necrotic. Okay, thirteen points of damage. Second uh, attack. It is now bloody. Uh, sixteen is still. Yep, that'll enough. hit. For future reference, the AC is fourteen. Okay, uh, eleven slashing. Ooh, very nice. And six necrotic. Okay, so seventeen points on top. So. Oh wait, uh, uh, remove six damage total because. I don't have a curse on this guy, so I don't get the proficient damage. Okay, so only 11 points. Okay, so that'll be... All right, yep, got you. Got you. Okay, so yeah, you just slash it along the back twice, like left and right, um, and it howls out in pain, although it's mostly still concerned about the stab to the nuts it just got. Uh, it is its go. It's blinded. It's going to thrash around, and it is going to attack in the direction that the two strikes from Laeros just came from, but of course you're not there. You've got a reach weapon, so it is going to miss. It's going to just turn around and flail with the great axe, and yeah, it's, it's not going to hit you at all. Um, it's just going to strike at the air. Uh, it is going to move towards you, though. As it, it cannot. Movement is zero. Movement is zero, of it course. Because it's dazzled. Yeah, no, no, never mind. Uh, that's it. That's its go. Over to grounded. Grounded. Okay, so I see this poor creature uh, writhing in agony. I sort of wince a bit in uh, maybe a bit of um, solidarity, then choose it. Okay. <laughs> Putting it out of its misery, yeah, yeah. All right, well, you, you're you hidden, so you've got advantage. Okay, rolling with advantage, best type of rolling. On the bright side, it's no longer blinded. Uh. <laughs> Either the <die. laughs> Okay, that is uh, 21 to hit. 21 to hit hits, yeah. Roll some damage, don't forget your sneak attack, of course. Okay. Twelve. Twelve, okay. All right. It's taken a fair bit of damage as, you know, thump as the bolt goes. So it's turned round, so it's now gone straight into its chest. Um, and that, again, was a standard bolt, not a walloping, I assume. I'll, I'll just assume they're standard, yeah. and, unless you say otherwise. Actually, that, yeah. That's probably going to make more sense going forward. Okay, you still have your bonus action. You can hide again if you want, because obviously you'd be revealed yeah. by the shot. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll just sort of crouch behind the crates again and, uh, yeah. That sounds great. Roll me a stealth check just to see how well you manage that, like whether you duck down before it. I mean, he's not blinded now, is he? This is the end of no. his go, yeah. So before he turns around and, and sort of looks over and sees you, whether you're able to duck down quickly enough. Oddly enough, that's another 21. Okay, that's well, presumably well hidden. And over to Ao. Ao, you're behind the portal. Well, my original plan of having him attack someone other than me failed, so... I mean... I mean, he did. did. did not it is not the way you thought it would. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to move back in and go for the rapier. Okay, okay. Obviously, he sees you approaching. Um, you do have flanking, though, because of uh, Laeros. Another 24. That Rolling hits. these 19s today. <laughs> yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of both good because it's consistently hitting, but also bad because it's not 20. That's all my good rolls. Yeah. How much damage? Well, if I didn't switch my dice, I'd be able to give me a moment. <laughs> uh, 18. 18. Okay. So the rapier goes straight through its back into its spine and he collapses onto his knees and then down, uh, revealing you behind him. And it dies. Let's nice jump. What color? Uh, <laughs> very red, very red. And we go to top of the round and the portal okay, glows uh... white. Uh oh. And charging through it comes another minute. Oh. <laughs> 